crazy story time of me taking up the people entire school bringing it in my whole house crying on a whole school and not one member of my household knew mm -mm -mm. howdy 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 again welcome to 2020 if this is your first time tuning in to chocolate and chat chat in 2021 why did i say welcome to 2020 so welcome to 2021 and welcome back to the, the third episode i think of chocolate and chit chat the previous video you saw was me talking about intermittent fasting and the one before that i can't remember i can't remember what i talk about but anywho today's topic i want to talk about the day i decided to take up my entire preschool and bring it home in my house and nobody but the children parents and the kids and myself knew what was going on so let's jump into today's topic of chocolate and chit chat let's go Many, many moons ago, I was a preschool teacher, loving it, enjoying it, having a good old time. And the school started to really, really, really go strong. But being in the building that we were in at the time, I wasn't comfortable because um, things needed to change and the owner of the building, which was technically the government but you know um but it is not under the umbrella of the government right it's privately the original school itself i as a child went to school there so the same person who taught me as a child was still actually running the school and she wanted to retire and she asked me if i was interested in a job and i said well why not so i took up that offer and i started to work in the preschool with her so she could tell me you know guide me through and then she decided to leave and hand over all all the reins to me and i went to the floor and everything you know i would run past by her she put me through with all her supervisors everything everything so i was well set and ready to go oh yeah all right so while there i i was just like keep talking to the manager of the building and I was explaining really no I have a preschool at that point the school started to go down I think as she started to get older she started to take up less children because of her age obviously and was she alone the other teacher she moved abroad and you know so um she had like 10 she didn't want much children because of her age and um the school was looking a little rundown and as a young person, a young woman, I was like, mm, I had to do something. So I was I was asking, you know, if I could do certain things to the space that I was in and to the space was very small. And I could understand she only had 10 children at the time, so she didn't need a big space in this in the building. So but I had bigger plans, you know, I had things I wanted to do because I had links with a really good school and my daughter was going to a private school um 
was linked to the oil company. It was a private school, right? American based and American teaching everything. And my child was going to that school. And the teachers there, I was just getting a lot of help from them and they were linking me to certain things. I would go, I would be able to take my school on trips with the school. So much things that I was getting linked to because my daughter was going to the school and um, the teachers and I really get along really well. So I had big plans and you know, and seeing that they didn't want to do anything, I was like, you know what, I came home and I think about it. I didn't discuss it with anybody, not even my supervisor. And I said, can I even take that school out of there? And I did just that. A day I went to school, I called all the parents in, when they break the chair and I tell them, wait, I discuss it, I say, listen, I'm moving the school out of here, you know, I can't bring it home. So this area in which I do this in here is my TV room area, right? So at that point in time, this construction wasn't there. This wall was here because um, the room behind here was already here. But this two, two rooms that I have here wasn't here. This living room and this foyer wasn't here. This TV room and the foyer wasn't here. So it was just um, in construction. So I use this front piece here for the classroom and also my dining room area. I use that. For the children so i had this big long space here the steep room and the foyer area and and the dining room so i had more space than i was getting in the building and this is free i don't have to pay so um my supervisor said okay once you're comfortable fine so i moved to school i took up the whole school and i bring it home in my house and all the parents was comfortable and i have noted what so what i decided to do i bought chairs and i bought tables I bought everything that I needed to continue the school, also what I already had in the school. And mind you, I had, at that time, I told my husband, nothing, nothing. And my daughter actually came home from school and she was like, she see these children here and she was like, mommy, I think she wasn't in pre-K. I think she was in a upper grade, I think was grade one. I think she was, yeah, cause she was old enough. I keep thinking is either K or pre-K, but it couldn't be. She was older than that. So I was like, yes, kid, mommy bring the school home. And she just used to enjoy because she went, first when she first started to go to school, that is where she went to that school before with, with the teacher who used to teach me. And then I took her out from there. And um, I took her out privately and to the private school for her to go there and so she knew eventually and i was doing this thing for a long while you know i was running everything by my supervisor getting everything that i needed doing going to all my meetings doing everything everything and my husband knew nothing so one day i decided to over school early because i had a meeting that day actually and he come home. Can I sit down? Sit down, sit down. We need to talk. I'm like, what happened? Something going on in this house you need to tell me about? I was like, what? He's like, why it is? A parent meeting me on the road and asking me if school over. And then when I done answering, because I ain't too sure where he coming from, is, boy, since your wife take over that school, them children just learning, the, the child just change. What it is, this, what it is he talking about, Kenna? What it is going on? Something I need to know? What is going on in my house? And at that moment, I knew I need to speak. So I was like, yes. I bring everybody here, be, uh, give him the whole story. He say, and his parents pain, yeah? I say, yes. And I was like, he's like, you know how dangerous that is? I said, I know I'm in the process of getting everything legalized and all doing all the registration and everything. He's like, 
So what you do so far? I say, well, I change your uniform. You say, wait, you change your school uniform? I say, yes. And um, how much children you have? Now, mind you, I come here with 10 children, right? I said, 35. He was like, what? 35 children come in here every day. 35 children parents come in here every day. And I don't know nothing more. You're going mad? He said, Kendra, that cannot be. How are you going to take up the people's school and bring it in your house? Have 30 something people come in here on a daily basis to pick up the children. And I don't know nothing. I was like, because I know you would do exactly what you're doing right now. You would try to stop me. He's like, it's not that. One, it is illegal. I said, yes, I know. But where we were staying was unsafe for the children. So I, it was either A or B. And the, the B option was much better than what I had before. It's like, and what did your supervisor say? She said, she told me she would help me to get everything organized and everything. Did she know you changed your uniform? No, just so under my breath, no. He was like, speak up. <laughs> I was like, no. She did not know I changed the uniform. He's like, na 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 na. Take the people school back in the building. Please, please, please take it back. I called the meeting with the parents. I said, listen, I'm having some issues. I didn't mention all the details personally, what was going on between me and him. But I just simply say I wouldn't be able to have a school no more at home because the amount of students, which was true, I, I really had too much children, right? And um, I need to take it back to the building that we had before. And everybody was kind of upset because they really liked how everything flew in. And they asked me if I should. I was like, yes. But well, mind you, the reason why he never knew is because every day they're going home with a table, every day they're going home with a chair, and before he comes from work <clears throat> at half past four, every day he comes home, he reach home. So by that time, everything is cleaned up. There is no sign that the ch that children was here. So it was a cool scene. And that's how I did that for so long. But anyway... I had no other choice but to take back the children to the building. We work things out, we get things fixed. I guess it's because they see that I left and I came back with more children and they see that the money that we would give them is good so they need to adhere to the request that we were asking for. So I decided to do what I asked and we went back there school was flourishing real nice and as i said i had all the links with the school that my daughter was going to so it was just it was just growing and growing and growing and then he said well okay your daughter growing too so you need to cut it out leave them you, 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 you build back up the school things going smooth time to walk away i said we mean walk away it's like yes time to walk away from that and you focus on yours raise yours as angry as angry as I was, as I had a lot of emotions because I didn't want to do it because I enjoyed it. And to know that I built back this thing to where it was almost zero, I worked so hard and I was enjoying this to see this is where I had to just walk away like, you know, and I was really frustrated. But it made sense anyway, like, you know, let me put some time into my little picnic. So I did that, I left the job to be there for my daughter and her schooling, making sure she have what she need and doing what she have to do, that kind of thing. So, <sighs> if that, and you know, the thing is, I keep asking him, who is this parent, I tell you, who is, he would never say who is the parent because I feel if he had told me who was the parent, I might, I get upset and go and talk to the parent. But my that is not the parent fault, that is my fault. Because them didn't know that, my husband didn't know that I had a whole school going on in my house every day. It took him about almost four months before he found out about the school. It could be longer than that. Eh? A whole school was going on. Oh my gosh, it was an experience. And 
it's not an experience that i regret one bit because i built back that school and the uniform they never changed back the uniform to the old uniform they left it just the way it is that i changed it to was the original uniform was a khaki dress and every day of the week you change into a, a, um, a apron over the um over the the khaki dress so there was a different color apron for a different day and the apron was basically to keep the clothes clean but it will also add a nice color to the uniform right i wore that same uniform as a child going to that school so um yeah so i changed that uniform and i put um just the blue and white checkered dress for the girls with a white belt blue ribbons white sneakers and for the boys i had black shoes khaki pants and the checkered blue blue and white checkered top so that was the uniform that i changed it to instead of parents having to spend money on this um, uniform the khaki dress and i have to get five different types of apron so you have to get five different color pieces of cloth to make apron it was just too much just buy one thing done make a uniform done and you're done so that was my thought process i was just trying to make things easier for this new fresh start that the school was about to have with me as the head you know so it was a very good decision because the school is going strong and everything is good it still isn't under the umbrella of the government it's still privately owned um but it was one of the most happiest curious confused so much anxiety anxiety was on a hundred it was so much but it was an experience that i would never 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 take back or, or wish didn't happen because i've learned so much in that whole process i mean i don't like too much noise eh? but i love children and I, I i cannot be sometimes i wonder if i hadn't you know listened to what my husband then was saying about leaving and stay home where would i have been in my career because my supervisor had so much plans for me she when she see how well i was doing with the school and where we were going at that particular point in time to where we were when she saw how well and how committed i was she keep complimenting me she keep telling me how happy she is that she made the decision to give me the responsibility to carry the school through and the, she, we started to do little courses and running me through so much we had so much in the works you know to just help me be a better teacher and be able and be well equipped to perform to give these children the best that they need you know to start off and that is the only thing i regret about leaving that i did not at all wasn't able to continue that and go through it all that we had planned for myself in this career but it was an experience <sighs> but i think maybe maybe i had told my husband look this is what's going on in his school this is what i want to do it mightn't be for a long period of time but i want your support maybe i think he would have said yes i'm not saying yes i'm sure he would have said yes but I, i'm just thinking you know he may have said okay no problem i don't know but it was an experience i enjoyed it all but i do have some regrets but anyway everything happens for a reason sometimes you know and we just need to trust god that he know why he allowing certain things to take place that is how i just look at things when things don't go the way that i planned it you know i just, just have to trust that this is not the plan or the direction god wanted for me so maybe that's just why it didn't go that way you know so so yes ladies and gentlemen thanks for tuning in for another episode and thanks for listening to this 
crazy story time of me taking up the people entire school bringing it in my whole house crying on a whole school and not one member of my household knew mm -mm -mm. <laughs> have a great day bye